Hey, it's almost time to say Happy New Year, everyone, and you're invited to hear a story about the one thing that literally saved my life, brought me back from the dead, and then changed my life, transforming who I am as an individual. This is the struggle of our time. You see, over the last year, I've sorted through over 30,000 events, mostly all on Facebook, just to pick one every single day, with the goal of going one new place, meeting one new person, learning one new thing. What is community media? To me, it means bringing together people that you love and you care about, connecting in person, figuring out ways to support to lift people up. Community is... Is everything. And why? This is a project called DICE, Daily Inspiring Community Event. It's like rolling the dice, not knowing where I'm going to go when I wake up, but finding something with impact and purpose and meaning. And the reason I want to share it with you is to invite you to continue this mission in 2018 and beyond. We have a generational challenge to build communities and create a world where every single person has a sense of purpose. Purpose is what creates true happiness. But to go to a community event is to realize that we all start from a place of brokenness. Very true. That brokenness actually belongs to all of us and it is one of the things that gives us a commonality. It gives us something we come together around. With the goal that if we can work together to build greater community in our nation, in our cities locally, amazing things are going to happen with the social fabric of America. Progress now requires coming together, not just as cities or nations, but also as a global community. None of us knew each other until we started running together, and now we celebrate birthdays together, we yes. celebrate weekends together, and we all met just by doing this together. Yes, that's awesome. You are a part of something bigger than yourself by building community all across the world. Community events are the one thing that bring us all together. No matter our race, religion, orientation, politics, whatever it is, community events are truly the connector. They are the social fabric of America. And if we can create more of them together, then our nation is going to be among the best in the world. Create something unique that's gonna connect people. Again, you're building a community where you add your own elements of inclusivity. To me, it means the people that pull up and show up for things here. The people who are engaged here. It's about building friendships. It's about building a family. It's about coming together, doing things for one another, and give back. And we try to teach our youth hockey players to do that as well. Community means to me is loving these people. It's a low-income community right here. They sell drugs. There might be a few prostitutes. But all of them will come out and cheer us on, do all kinds of things that you would never dream about in a richer neighborhood yeah, because they want the same thing that we want. Everybody wants to be loved, wanted, and treated the same. So they want community too? <laughs> yes, they do. You know you're as strong as the community you come from, and it's the strongest community in the city. We get nothing from the city. We get our, the back turn from the city. We get no help, but we still survive. We still thrive. We the ones who appreciate it the most. We give it right back to the community. Make the community great. It's good to see community as friends. I mean, it really is. Yes. Like, hey, our friends stop by from uh, Forestry. Let's all have a beer. They brought us gifts. We want to serve them a beer. And they really are just friends. How you doing, young man? Right. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you want to run with us? <laughs> when you're vulnerable, you have these opportunities to meet people you never would have before. I think everyone tonight, almost everyone tonight, didn't know each other before they came. And yet now they're all back there talking for the last half hour or more getting to know each other. Very that's, that's brave space. That's vulnerable space. We have forgotten to be kind. Right. I think people aren't thoughtful on how they create their events. I'm going to be thoughtful about somebody who is not like me or somebody is like me. Then you have to worry about whether you're in this camp or that camp. You're in the group of people who chooses to be kind. And that, I think, is a really important place to start. I think there's also a, an eye-to-eye -eye that needs to happen in community and a true, you know, handshake, if it is. Like, you need to be able to, yeah, exactly. You need to be able to feel the people that you're interacting with. Like. The, the Facebooks and the Snapchats and all this is ruining our communities because people are, are, they feel connected, but in reality we're becoming more disconnected. Community is essential for, for happiness and for stress relief and community is crucial for humans. This is the struggle of our time. Over the past few decades, membership in all kinds of communities has declined by as much as one quarter. 
That's a lot of people who now need to find a sense of purpose somewhere else. And the best way to do that is to start building local communities right now. It starts at the local level and it's only going to be possible with people like you. I really encourage people to get out there and take chances and, and be more afraid of regret than failure. We do a lot of things that maybe people don't expect yeah. and one of the biggest ways that we thought we could spread the word that Lulu Lumen does run well is to come to runners. When you're in a spot like this, no one knows who you are or why you're here, so you have to kind of infuse that fun into them before they get shy and walk away. But for me, that's the biggest challenge is like, how do I show you that this is going to be fun and that there's literally no strings attached and you just have to come and have fun with us. That's all and I love going deeper on that. You mentioned fun in a way that people can connect with each other. The owners relationships both pre-existing and ones that might just form. Right, and hopefully we meet some new faces that will continue that friendship and that like fun experience too. Absolutely. Change starts local. In our generation, the struggle of whether we connect more comes down to this. Your ability to build communities and create a world where every single person has a sense of purpose. Every time you do something, you're gonna learn something. And so... Even if the first show is small. Oh yeah. I mean, many of the puppet shows have been small and I'm sure many more will be small. If you count success by number of heads through the door, then it's gonna to be tough. But if you count success by learning things and having a good time and meeting people in a successful day, the Facebook world has likes and uh, yeah. how many people are coming to the event. And oh gosh, I'm stressing out about all these things now. It's like. It's a beautiful day. There's some people here that are ready to see a puppet show and perfect. Right on, man. Some people don't understand what it's like to have a baby. <laughs> each week um, we share our joys and our challenges with each other. We can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. You know, anything that's happening in motherhood. We did have um, a week where this space was being rented out and one of the moms in the group said, I don't want to miss you ladies. So come over to my house. I felt perfectly comfortable. Oh, right. I think once it was yeah. established that we felt really comfortable, many of us would offer our houses up at this point um, yeah, if right. this wasn't available, just because we want to see each other and we yeah. don't want to miss a week of this, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. With seeking that kindness, do you believe that there's still room in America for compromise? I think there is room in America for compromise. Life is compromise. Life is a compromise between now and then, between living and dying. There must be room for compromise. I think so, and I, and I hope that we can all sustain that compromise, which our nation was obviously founded on. If you could see someone out there that was watching, what advice would you give to them to be successful? Well, first I'd say, sing! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, coming down here, I was a little scared to come into a part of town I've never been to before. Don't be scared. And, and everybody I've met down here has been the nicest people I have ever hey, met in DC. Seriously. Like, like they said, put, that's just a perception. You gotta come to different places to see. We came with a defensive you know, mentality. We would never have a conversation. We still enjoyed the same thing, had the same fun. And we all want to help people. It's exactly. the change. We just want to change. If people sing, they open up their lungs, That's they open up their faces, and they make people laugh because it's so simple, it's so kindergarten, and it brings people in. My young officer, Officer Saunders, it's her birthday. Does everybody know the song? Yeah! Can we do it? Yeah! All right, ready? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Officer Saunders! Happy birthday to you! All right, well, to close this out, what can I sing with you? Uh, what do you like to sing? <laughs> this land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, this land was made for you and me. And that's compromise. Awesome. <laughs> community events are the lifeblood of America, and you can give back to your community in three ways this holiday season. First off, show up, blow up, and then grow up. And what do I mean by that? In order for community to grow, we have to go out and participate. We have to join our own communities around us. So show up, be part of the community events that are going on. And the biggest challenge for any community event host is getting the word out there about their events. So blow up the community in a good positive way. Literally get the marketing out there so you can help get the word out and get more people to show up with you. 
Then the third thing is grow up. That means planting a seed in your community by hosting community events. Just host one community event and it'll make a world of difference right where you live. I'm gonna help you to do any of those three things that you wanna do. Join us, together, we're going to work on building better, stronger communities, not just in America, but the entire world. And it's through those three simple things you can do this coming year in 2018, make that New Year's resolution. Even go out as you're looking at doing that marketing for other people. Try going to one community event and just take a photo, put a video out there, share it with people that are your friends around you. That's gonna be what we need to change, to lift those eyeballs up, to get them off of their cell phones and back into our communities. It's through people like you that are gonna make a difference. See you in 2018 and beyond.